Hi there Scorpio, this is going to be your intuitive love reading for June 2020. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards for your energy, how you might be feeling about your current love or love interest, or how you're feeling about love, romance and relating at the moment. And then we'll do the same for your person. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. When the first one falls or flips, that's my indicator to stop and pull the others and there they go wow okay we have the nine of swords we have the energy of death and we have the page of pentacles interesting obviously ending and beginning here going on okay scorpio i mean this is your card the card of death so I feel like even though we have some kind of transformation or ending here you know when it's your card that shows up in your reading there's a sense of gaining personal power from that so and previously we see you in the nine of swords energy which can be an energy of stress or anxiety so maybe some of you have been um, you know closing a current connection it could be a relationship that you have been in for a while um, or maybe you know you did start seeing somebody and now you're calling that off um, the energy of death obviously is uh, it's a completion it's letting something go letting something um, come to pass in order to invite in new energy new door, door new day you know it's almost like that um, you know that that pentacle there is rising there's a new offer that is there to to give or to receive so you know the death energy is an energy that comes to to clear our slate so in some sense i feel like you have cut the energetic cords between yourself and somebody else um, and you're going through some kind of transformation it could be possible that you're just going through some kind of personal transformation not related to love but it's going to get you into a position to make an offer of love to somebody because we do have the page of pentacles in your energy scorpio and you know this can be um, the offer of like an early commitment um, you know in early stages of love because the the pages can be that um more beginning energy the seeds of something so there could be um, after this ending the slate clearing there could be a new opportunity there could be somebody that you're wanting to pursue and you are getting ready to make them an offer an initial offer you know something where it's just starting could be just you know going for a coffee or you know getting together with them online um, having a chat messaging that kind of thing so that's what we're seeing here you know we're seeing this the ending of something or a transformation in your energy and then getting yourself into a position where you might make an offer of love and whatever this transformation is you're moving from a darker time a time of stress a time of anxiety of overthinking and over analyzing really getting rid of that energy going through that period of growth so now that you can really you know welcome in a connection so let's see what's happening with your person because this is interesting okay scorpio's person can we have three cards please how they might be feeling where they're at mm, okay they're going through something we're going through something as well <laughs> look at that four of wands underneath your offer that's looking good um okay scorpio so it really looks like your person was going through something as well and just bearing in mind this could be you guys you know in a connection where you've gone through a rocky patch as well because here we have the five of swords coming in underneath your nine of swords now the five of swords is obviously the energy of conflict it can be the energy of having arguments um, it's almost like a card of victory but it's a victory that comes at a cost so maybe there was some arguing going on and this person was somebody who you know always had to have the last say always had to have the upper hand but that kind of um, negative competitive energy is something that really could have caused you uh, a lot of grief and I really feel that you know you are wanting to to move on from that that could be the transformation um, you know we have the two of pentacles here which can show a sense of your person feeling indecisive 
um, they could be indecisive about you um, in the past um, or they could also be juggling things they could be juggling you know multiple people um, had too much responsibility on their plate that's why they were feeling um, sorry conflicted and unable to really give themselves to this commitment um, the two of pentacles could show that they were feeling unsteady ungrounded during that time um, maybe uh, un unsettled emotions that kind of energy so it does indicate that they were potentially going through a hard patch and maybe either unavailable for love or unable to connect with you in the way that you wanted so of course this can be your current partner or somebody that you are hoping to pursue either way I feel like in the recent past they have not been ready potentially you knew that we've got a lot of stress going on um, you know but I feel like there has been some kind of transition in this energy because we also have the four of wands in their reading which is kind of like okay so just going back to the five of swords sorry just for one moment um, this is the five right and in tarot this is the um, five is the number of conflict it is also the number of change so when I see the fives I always say it's a change that needs to come in to transmute the conflict well death is probably one of the biggest energies of change you know along with the tower and the tarot so there seems to have been maybe the change in your circumstances the change in your transition the ending that you've gone through in a way that has shifted something for the other person as well because now we have the energy showing up as four of wands which is um, all the stability that the instability of the two of pentacles doesn't have the four of wands is about laying foundations really setting up something solid for the future it is about you know tangible commitment if not you know it really is one of the big cards of love because it can also show engagement marriage um, you know abundance in love and going th to the next level um, setting up a commitment together so if this is an offer here in its infancy that is ready to be made this is kind of like um, that person saying really wanting to take you up on that offer because they see this going the distance they see this could be their foundation maybe you are the stabilizing force that they actually need to ground themselves also seeing that um, you know we have the 1111 formation here which can talk about confirmation um, you know synchronicity and, and things like that so if this person hasn't come in yet you could meet through some kind of quite synchronistic event, uh, sorry, event or, or circumstance as well um, but yeah this is commitment this is solidity and it's quite different to the previous energy so I feel like there has been something that has shifted and potentially you are the grounding force for this person and you know that can be that the balancing that has been you know required to um, to build you know a foundation that you can build something quite stable on Beautiful. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. That is your love reading for June 2020. Um, keep in mind I'm reading for a collective. It won't be everybody's reading every time. Um, do leave me a comment. I read them all. I also try to reply to them all and I like to get to know you guys. It helps me connect with your energies and I'll see you back here in July for another love reading.